Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP USD and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market that time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, let's say a bit about our last analysis of GBPUSD. When we did that analysis, the market was here. You can remember this Greystone Doji. So we said that the market, um, having bought this much, remember we said on the overall that the market is making an ascending channel, that series of higher highs and higher lows. Then, as we said, it was making an uptrend. Not the same channel. It was making an uptrend, which makes series of higher highs and higher lows. Then getting to this region, we said that um, it is about to make the next higher low. So it started selling, and we see quite a significant bullish rejection. Then it sold again. We saw another bullish rejection. So we did say that we expect the market to sell and fully attain this region, which we had marked since the time it started selling from here. We said this way it's going to sell down to and having seen this bullish um rejection or this bullish move which we consider the retracement and this gravestone doji we say that we expect the market to sell again either to fully attend this region or to make a double bottom around this region before it finally sells but remember we said that the sign that we need to see to be sure that the market is about to sell is if monday ends bearish that's what we said in the last video. So if Monday ends bearish, then we're sure that the market will sell. If not, we're going to look forward to what the market will present. Then someone asked a question in the comment section in under that last video. He said, what if Monday ends bullish? And my response was, then wait for a retest and a reversal candlestick pattern. And you can see that's what happened. So Monday ended bullish. So if you were trading, I expected you to wait for a retest, which occurred on Tuesday, and a bullish reversal candlestick pattern, which occurred on Wednesday. That would have been a clear sign for you to go bullish. In fact, look at the 4 hours time frame. It's very visible here on the 4 hours. So this was Monday, ending as a bullish candle. Tuesday, we saw this retest. Then, Wednesday, we saw the market buy a bit and sold again. So making this, of course, this was, um, what's it called? Federal first fund rate in the US first fund rate when the news was released. Then the same day Fetcher Power was giving a speech. So if you had taken your buy after this retest and the bullish reversal candlestick pattern, you are supposed to have leave the market at this time. Of course, that would um not everybody will be able to do that because except you were looking at your chart, you were fixated to the chart during at the time of the news but if you did not then the market would have pulled back on you uh, if it did not trigger your stop loss then you can see the market made a double bottom here and went bullish so if you were able to get in on that i would say congratulations to you now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame we can see gbp US started buying from here got here sold a bit but again ranged here for a while so they started making a series of higher highs and higher lows which is more visible on the daily time frame so we see on the monthly time frame we can see a couple of impulsive and correctional moves so last month ended as a bullish candle with up and lower weeks then this is the month of september we can see we've had three trading weeks pass already and it is currently a bullish candle now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we can see the market started making um series of higher highs and higher lows here. And it sold here, bought here. So this is the last or the most recent higher low. The market started selling from here. We had a bearish arami here, which we expected the market to sell significantly. It did not. The next candle was a doji. The next was a doji. So, um, 
we said that the market was likely to sell and come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame before it goes bullish and we can see that did not happen instead the market went bullish from there so last week the market ended as a bullish candle then let's consider the daily time frame on the daily time frame we can see after the market started selling here we saw this bullish rejection and it bought till this point so the last candlestick on the daily time frame is a bullish candle now the four hours time frame on the first time frame we can see the market started buying from here and of course even on the first time frame we can see a couple of higher highs and higher lows so the last candlestick on the first time frame is a bearish candle with a long lower week so that's what happened in the market last week what do we expect from the market this week um like i said from the early part of this video that the market is making series of higher highs and higher lows and at this point we want to believe that this is the higher low we're looking forward to even though it did not sell down to where we're expecting in fact remember at this point this one sold below where we were anticipating and this one did not sell as low as we were anticipating so um the fact remains or the most paramount thing which we are to be looking out for is that it is a higher low and the next one is a higher high that's the most paramount thing so whether it's fully attained where we're anticipating or not it's inconsequential inconsequential as far as the pattern is maintained so right now the market having made a higher low the next thing that's happening is a higher high and looking at the weekly time frame i can see here that uh, we can see here that this is the next strong resistance region give me a moment let me mark that one point three six is the next strong resistance region so we believe that the market will fully attain this region before it makes the next higher low 1.36 so this week is likely to be bullish or we expect this week to be bullish um there's possibility that at the early part looking at the first time frame we can see um bearish we can see this the market and the last candlestick is a small bearish candle so there's possibility that the market could sell a bit at the early part there's possibility that it would keep buying from here um i would say that you should look forward you should look for a good entry before taking your trade and i also strongly believe that there'll be a, a retracement on the four hours time frame before the market continues buying so look forward to that and take a good entry but i believe the market will keep buying this week and fully attain 1.36 before we look forward to the next um the next higher low that's the market to sell and make the next higher low i wouldn't want to say the market will sell from here i don't think so because if it sells then that will mean that the market has met the higher high and this particular high is not far away from the previous high i'm just saying what i think so i believe the market will buy a bit more before it makes the next higher low so by the time the weekly time frame it has gotten pretty close to the overbought region so i believe it will fully attain this region before the rsi will fully get into the overbought region uh DS on the weekly time frame before we can now move forward to a sell or we can call that a retracement on the weekly time frame i hope um i've not bored you too much and that's not cumbersome i believe you understand everything i said if you miss out on any parts you can um pause the video and watch it again so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you like we always say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't venture into trading without proper knowledge if you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading you don't want to take this trade 
you can watch this video for educational purposes and it's going to save you better than risking your heart and money something that you understand if you want to get our forex course which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market it covers beginners to advanced lessons it has 30 videos and three ebooks including my book trading without tears i strongly recommend this course for anybody who is just starting out in the forex space or someone who is yet to find his way around the financial market so if you want to get this course check the description on this video you're going to see a link where you can get our forex course and if you want to subscribe for our signal service will give proper entry stop loss and take profit check the description on this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears check the description on this video you're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles you can find our social media handles in the description on this video tell us your location or tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now